Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Bible says, according to Matthew 27, verses 45 to 54, it says this, Now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was dark all over the land. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Alai, Alai, lama samachnai. This is my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of those who stood there, when they heard that, said, This man is calling for Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on a reed and offered it to him to drink. The rest said, Leave him alone. Let us see if Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yelled up his spirit. Then, behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth quaked, and the rocks were split, and the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the graves after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. So when the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and the things that had happened, they feared greatly, saying, Truly, this was the Son of of God. Hallelujah. See, nobody had listened to Elijah or Elisha or the other prophets. So God came in person to tell the world the good news Jesus said, in effect, according to Matthew 11, verses 28 to 30. He said, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. But the people were threatened by Jesus. They tried to silence him by killing him on a cross. They rejected the opportunity to embrace a new reality of resurrection and full life. Jesus said, according to John 14 verse 6, he says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Many people are looking for a better way. They are searching for truth and they want a better life for themselves and their families. But that message, that good news needs to be repeated again and again and again. Every day someone is born who will need to hear it, to see it and to experience it. There are so many ways that we can share the good news of Jesus Christ's love for us. Some of those ways will involve our mouths. Some of those will involve our hands, our feet, our actions. And many of us may also even use social media, whatever it may be, to reach anybody for Christ. All these require prayerful hearts and a willingness to let God use us and the resources that we have been given to respond to God's touch today. Let's respond to God's calling to be prophets of the good news, to be prophets of the new covenant that Jesus gave for us. Let us let God start using us in all the ways that we can to be the Elijahs, to be the Elishas, faithful and true prophets of God. Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Therefore, when we declare the good news of the gospel, we are proclaiming and prophesying what is to come. Jesus has made a way of escape for us. His spirit wants to be with those that are willing to share the good news of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. Will you go for him today? Who will he send unless somebody is sent? Are you willing to be sent? Just as Isaiah was cleansed, his lips were cleansed, and he said, God, I will go for you. Who will go for me, God says. And and Isaiah says, I will go. His lips were cleaned. He had been revived. He had been touched. God wants to give you rest today. God wants to give you comfort today. That you may also 
comfort others. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. We come to you now and ask for comfort and relief to all that are listening today that need a touch from you, Lord. They need a second touch. Come and touch them today. We ask that you restore their health and renew their minds, their bodies and their spirits today. We ask that you heal them, take away their fears and anxieties and keep them in your presence, Lord. Oh, use us today, Lord. Use us, even us, just as you will and when and when where until your blessed face we see your rest, your joy and your glory, Lord, that we may share it with others. Oh, Lord, we humbly ask that you heal your faithful children today that are listening. Please comfort them as some are suffering today in pain and need your healing touch. According to John 14, it says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do that I give, but let your, not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. By the most precious blood of Jesus Christ, we pray that each person may see it through the tough times that they may be facing today. We pray that those who seek to do us harm, Lord, that you would separate them from us, that they would be removed in the name of Jesus, and that all demonic forces attacking us be rendered powerless today, sent back to the pit of hell in Jesus' mighty name. That's right. We pray that all principalities, powers, and forces of darkness coming against each person's homes, marriages, finances, health and children be bound and sent back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ so that they may move forward and get to be closer to you, Lord, without any hindrances. According to Isaiah 26 verse 3, it says, For you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Please watch and protect each person today that is in need. You know the burdens that they carry. You also know their hearts, Lord. We ask you to be with them now as you work within their lives. Let each person know you more today, that they may know that, Lord, that them, that through all the most difficult times that they may face, that you are there. Give them strength through all difficulties today so that they may, that you may be glorified in their lives in Jesus' name. According to Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear. Be a dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you, and that he will not leave you nor forsake you. We pray for each person's good health, peace, love, wisdom, prosperity within their lives from now on and forever. According to 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Please relieve them of feeling guilty of past sins. Lord, that have already been covered under the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we trust in your strong arms and loving care. You are a good, good father and we will put our hope in you. We believe the promise in your word to send us fresh mercy each new day. That we will return to this place of prayer, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we may always feel the comfort of your embrace. Although that we may find it hard to see past today, we trust in your great love to never fail us. Give us your grace to face this day. We cast our burdens onto you, knowing that you will carry us and give us courage and strength to meet the days ahead. Heavenly Father, I pray for each person today. Touch them, Lord. According to Psalm 34 verse 18, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those who have a crushed in spirit. Lord, I pray that you would rescue those today. Touch each person today from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Mighty name we pray and believe. In Jesus' name, amen. And I've also got some uh, words of prophecy and also words of knowledge. There is someone that has an issue with their teeth right now, and God is going to come and touch that area of your teeth, whatever that issue is now. So just place your hand upon your mouth and get ready to receive the anointing and healing of God right now. Come and touch that person, Lord. Come and touch them. Come and touch them. 
come and touch them in Jesus name. There's also someone that having nose issues. If you're having any issue with your nose, I want you also just to place your hand over your nose right now and also receive healing for any issue relating to your nose right now. Heal them, Lord. Touch them in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Touch that person today in Jesus' name. There's also somebody that has a blood condition. Whatever that blood condition is, I declare it healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also someone that has an issue with the valves within the their heart, the valves within their heart right now, whatever those valves are that, that, that are having issue or blockages or anything like that, I speak healing over your heart right now, even as you place your hand upon your heart right now, receive supernatural healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak healing right now. Any other pain in your body, I speak healing over that. Just place your hand there. I speak healing right now. I speak healing right now. I speak healing right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm also going to speak a creative miracle right now that someone is going to receive supernatural weight loss. Supernatural weight loss. If that is you, then God, I pray, even as you go into the fasting this weekend, you will find that as you come out of the fast, there's going to be a supernatural change. You'll weigh yourself. You'll say, wow, I just lost 10 pounds. I just lost five pounds, whatever it is. You're going to see it and it's going to be a supernatural weight loss. So Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I also speak to that person also that I spoke this word a few times ago and it said, the Lord showed me that uh, some woman that had their breast was larger than the other and there was some issue with that. Lord, I speak divine creative miracle to that person, that d d divine creative miracle to that person right now. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it and grow back to the perfect design of God now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare right now, I declare it right now, I declare it right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that you would surround your people, you would touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen this it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ shalom 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 and if you've liked this utterance today subscribe to the YouTube channel hit the notification bell if it's not coming through you can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram go and click onto our Facebook and follow us there like our page you can also go and follow us on Instagram go to our free website repentance revival.com don't forget this weekend fasting people where God is going to move and he wants to also move through you so if you haven't already anticipate to um, join make sure you prepare to participate this weekend so you can be blessed tell all your friends tell someone get someone to join and also forward this post to someone that needs to be blessed today and don't forget and every Friday is the corporate Friday fasting you can share your testimonies with us at pst.robert clancy uh, at outlook uh, so may the lord bless you uh, from my family to yours god bless you we love you we are praying for you precious saints shalom shalom shalom